They are meaningless. So the Bible calls it meaningless days of life. That means the only true meaning is with the one that made the life. And the one that gave the life. So he's the only one that can tell why you have been delayed a little. He's the only one that can tell why you prospered early. He's the only one that can tell why you have never been sick. And he's the only one that can tell why you have been sick. He's the only one. So we call it the meaningless days of life. Um, the King James calls it vanity. Yes, because you can't really understand some of the things that you will go through. It is one day when you stand before Jesus that he will explain to you why you went through that and why. But for the why, you may never find on earth. All right. So through all the meaningless days of life, he said there is one thing you should be doing. You must learn to love your wife. You may not understand why business is not going well, but just learn to love your wife. You may not understand and have a, you may not have a clear meaning why you don't have a child, but just learn to love your wife. You may not understand why you applied for a visa, you didn't get it, but when you come back from the bounce and love your wife, uh, you, um, you must live happily with the woman you love. Be happy with the woman. That's all. You are not supposed, um, you are not supposed to. <laughs> uh, to allow the meaninglessness of life to distract your relationship with your wife. That's what he's saying. Just when life does not go well, your wife must be your happiness. That's what the Bible is saying. Just, just be happy with her. <laughs> Through all the meaningless days of life that God has given you. So it is God that gives those meaningless days. And he tells you that <laughs> just be happy. If you fill the exams and you come home, be happy with your wife. Just be happy. Uh, just be happy. He said that that God has given you under the sun. The wife God gives you is your reward for all your earthly toil. The wife God gives you it's a reward for all your earthly toil. So I end with the verse 10. Whatever you do, do it well. Wait. Your wife is a reward for your earthly labor and toil. So whatever you do, do well. All right. There is a reward for every man's labor on earth. And the reward for every man's labor on earth. The earth rewards. <laughs> it looks like people have started getting where I'm getting to. Most <laughs> recently, All right. The earth has its reward. And the one reward system of the world is money. The second reward system of the world is honor. And the third reward system of the world is promotion. But heaven has one reward for earthly toil for a man i promised you that uh, today would um, friday we're going to do um the prayer uh, marital breakthrough but uh, because of the repeat that had happened so i shifted it to today wow. yesterday and today there's no much gap yes, yes, yes. and then when a man proves to do well in what he does God does not give money God has already given honor so he doesn't give honor for what a man does what God gives is another human being that comes in 
as a wife. And the Bible said that a wife, God gives the man a wife as a reward for his toil. The toy there means his impact, his labor. So wives are given to complement a man's diligence. No man is lucky to have a helpful wife, a gorgeous wife, a virtuous wife. No man is lucky. It's a reward for something they were doing. No man is lucky. Wives are not found. They are given. So don't misinterpret that scripture that says, if a man finds a wife, he has found a good thing. And you'll find favor with God. Actually, the meaning is otherwise. He found favor with God, and God gave him a wife. That's my reward. So to the man he found, but he doesn't know he was given. You can't find what is not there. So it has to be given. But sometimes we call it searching. You, don't, you will never search and find the real woman for you. No. We work to get. You can search and find a woman. The one who will mess your destiny. That one you can search and find. <laughs> but the one who will be a reward for what you represent in destiny. That one we don't search to find. We work to get. It is heaven looking upon what you have been doing. From probably the age of 20. What you have been doing. Then by 30 years. Heaven makes a woman. Yeah. Yes, I will, I will, I'll get there. I'll get there. Hmm. The world has been fashioned for men and has programmed men to look for two things. Some are looking for money. Others are looking for women. So some are chasing money some are chasing women but actually you will not find a prudent wife by chasing a woman it is by making impact heaven gives prudent wives virtuous wives to men making impact in an area then god looks at what you are doing and he gives Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Can I boldly tell you? Yes, yes. No man is lucky to have a wife who is beautiful, who is respectful, who is submissive, who is virtuous, who is ready to change, who is malleable, who is teachable, who is welcoming, who is God fearing. No man is lucky. Go and search into the man's secret life. He's working for it. He worked for it. And he's working for it. Mm. Can I go ahead? All right. So it's an error. For a woman to say, I am searching for a world's man. No, no. Women are taken, made, and given as a reward to a diligent man. So every woman that is looking for the right partner must be with God. Because God will soon be visiting a diligent man. So any woman looking for a life partner must learn to be with God and to be made by God and to be presented to a man. 
You see how he made Eve and presented her. After Adam has finished naming, working, then he presented her to him. Today it is the other way around. Men are chasing women. Women are chasing men. And God has been left aside. So, round poles are being put into square holes. There is so much or much in the world. Because the woman must stay with God. For God to find a diligent man and then walk her to the man. How is going to happen? It is in Isaiah 33. For the Bible says, For none shall lack his meat. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it, and his spirit will gather them. His spirit will gather them. So God has said no one should lack a mate. But that doesn't mean mates must be moving around, searching for each other. He said it is the work of the spirit to gather them. So intimacy, to be a woman without intimacy with God, is to put your marriage in risk. The woman must be with God, so that the day God wants to visit the man, he comes with the woman. <laughs> Maybe I have to I have to continue. So you see, the woman's job is intimacy. The man's job is impact. No man must be idle. Otherwise, the real wife of your destiny you may not find. Can I make a very dangerous statement? Yes, yes. Women are customized made. Mm. Women mm. are customized made. Mm. A woman is not made for every man. Mm. A woman is made for a particular man. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. But when both miss then she may land where she was not made for. God looks at a particular man and what he is doing. Then he makes a woman. Women are created when they are born, but in the process of growth, they are made. And God makes them looking at a man. And the diligence of a particular man, then he prepares them and makes them, and then he rewards the man with the woman. That is why he told Adam, I will make a help meet for you. Every woman is a helper, but to meet for you is customized. <laughs> Not every help is meat for you. So he said, I'll make a helper meat, 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 suit, suitable, customized for you. Don't envy a man's wife. Envy what he does. Because it is what he does that brought that woman. So if you find a man's wife being submissive, being respectful, being helpful, holding the hand of the man and running with the man, not being ashamed of the man, understanding the man and pushing the man in prayer, pushing the man in fasting, not giving up on the man, not giving up on the man's message, check what the man has been into. The man is serving a purpose on earth. 
and that was his reward don't go and look for women chase an assignment and a woman will land on your ties mm. the bible says in proverbs 19 verse number 14 houses and riches are inheritance of fathers and the prudent wife is from the Lord so if you argue Ecclesiastes 9 that a wife is a reward from God will you argue this one houses and riches are the inheritance of fathers but a prudent a well able a Proverbs 31 woman is from the Lord. And the Lord is saying that it is out of your toil. So God's requirement for giving a prudent wife is toil. So let me tell you something. That is why women can't stand lazy men. Any woman that tells you she, she enjoys a lazy man is a hypocrite. Because there are rewards for work. So if they come and there is no work, they feel that they have been rewarded wrongly. They are the wrong place. That's why every woman, they are, they are always proud of what their men do. Sometimes they don't even check the money that comes. Mm. They just want to see their husbands rise up in the morning mm. and say, I'm going to work. Mm. If you stay home for too long and it's not sickness or anything and you stay home for too long, a woman becomes, begins to become comfortable mm. with you because he's a, he, she's a reward of toil. Mm. She's a reward of labor. Mm. So if she can't see labor, she feels that there is something wrong somewhere. Mm. It's either I was stolen. Mm. I was not given. I was stolen. Mm. It's either there was corruption somewhere for me to have landed here. This shouldn't be my place. <laughs> when it comes to rewards, there can be corruption. Mm. And there are men that have corrupted their ways mm. to find rewards that were not meant to be for them. Ah, my time. My time. My time. <laughs> Every man must be working. Not working to chase, make money as such. Working to make impact. It's two different things altogether. It is being a problem solver one way. Or the other yeah in doing that the earth may reward you the world may reward you with money with honor or with promotion but God it is a human being that God will reward you with that's why some men have been rewarded with wives from heaven so the matter the crisis at work they run back home because of the atmosphere of their wives so they will just come back home because they know how their wives will speak to them and how their wives will labor in prayer for them and how their wives will handle them they'll be fine so there are men who have lost everything in life but they are still not having happy tension they still they are fine because of a woman that was given them. But if you make a mistake and marry one daughter of Bilia, mm. yes. 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 so if wives are a reward, wives can also be a punishment. 
Do you know everything God gives, Satan also tries to give? So when they Satan saw that there's a mystery of God giving wives, he also started to give some. So if you don't take care, hell will also punish you with a wife. <laughs> and I don't know the requirement of hell's hell's um, provision for a wife but I know hell gives wife but God has given his own if you will not be idle he said he finished let me end here he finished and said whatever you do do it well Preach with all your heart. Pray with all your heart. When you go to the office, don't check the salary you are given. Serve with all your heart. When people are stealing from the company, withdraw. Serve with all your heart. Be diligent with the little that you are handling. And heaven will respond with a wife. I'm talking about young men who are not married. Mm. You are blessed yes, to know the truth. Yes, Work like women don't exist. Mm. Mm. And God will bring you a woman who does not exist in this world. Mm. Work like you women don't exist. And God will give you a woman who is out of this world. Everybody will look at you and say, ah, Oba, we don't any friend. People start to say, ah, what, what kind of woman is this? Where did you get her from? She's out of the world. Because you worked as women don't exist. You were not chasing women, asking for naked pictures, asking for them to twerk for you asking them for necessary oral sex asking them for things you were focused on trying to make an impact god will be watching you and he will give you a woman that is out of this world yeah yeah sometimes know how you were careless in your days of work and in your youthful age let your wise character tell you how careless you were. <laughs> and if you start to make amends, it will shock you how God will begin to touch her character. Mm. Okay. Okay. If you start to really work with the right mindset and seek to impart lives, it will shock you how your wife will begin to change. Mm. It will amaze you. It will amaze you. So even if you are finished marrying, it's not too late. Because for a woman to be a wife, she must have breasts and bottles. But to be prudent, it must have a nature of God. So it's not too late for your wife to be converted into a prudent wife. If you can do what men do for God to honor them with wives, he can touch your wife and something about your wife will begin to change whatever you do do it well it is this scripture apostle paul picked and brought it in colossians chapter 3 whatever you do do it in the name of the lord wives submit to husbands husbands love your wife it is this scripture he picked he saw that wives are rewards to husbands who labor in it. So keep doing what you are doing with all your heart. A wife is coming. Don't join them to the nightclubs going to look for a girl. Don't run to a church because girls, girls are there. Don't try to go for social parties because you are looking for a girl. Be focused working. 
You may be an accountant. Be a very excellent accountant. Be focused. Be led by the Lord. And that is it. Woman, be intimate. Because you were a reward. You were a reward. You are not a pain. You are not a knife. You were a reward. When you come into the man's life, he must sigh. And see, at long last, my toil has paid off. If you come into a man's life and he brings more toil, it means that you were not a reward. But if a woman stays with God, God prepares her until she comes out as a reward for her generation and as a reward for a man. Maybe you may be listening to me. You can't find a reward from heaven. You can't find it. What you do matters. God told Adam, dress this garden and keep it. After that, a woman came. A woman came. I pray for all young men. Jesus! Whatever must be happening in your life, Jesus! for God to entrust you with a woman. Jesus! From today, you are released into the realm. You are released into that realm. Amen. 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 I speak to idle men. Jesus. May God set you up. Amen. 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 May God set you up. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Now you are about to pray. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be a wild time of prayer. Jesus. Now you know that if you're a young man and you have to start evangelism, start. Mm -hmm. If you have to start school, start it. Yes, 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 if yes. you have to find a job, by all means, find it. Oh, yes. Whatever you have to do, if you have to do an online course, begin to do it. Yes. God will not just give you a woman. A prudent wife. He will give you a wife as a reward of your labor. Yes. 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 Rebecca was given. Mm. Never sit down and say that me am a shishibi. Wa ako shishibi ya ube fa diebi. Ma kwa ine nyame. Omwa. Ma kwa ine nyame. Jesus. <laughs> Have I talked to somebody today? My wife no nyame. Wow. wife. God loves women so much. To hand a woman over to a man who has not proven his diligence. Whenever God gives a woman out, I'm not talking about the woman going to find her own man. Whenever God gives a woman out to a man, it's a proof of his love to the woman. That I've found you someone who is proven to be diligent. Why? Because women themselves is work so they must be given to a worker they must be given to a worker if if you have no work to prove yourself God can't bring you another work that is why have you gone to a wedding when the man is coming, he comes alone and comes to sit. 
but the woman is when the woman is coming she's being walked another man is holding her hands and comes to transfer her to another man she's being worked on and then she's transferred to you to continue the work so any man that does not prove himself to the lord that i'm a worker doesn't deserve a woman so you see physically it's the father that holds her hands and brings to you but actually spiritually it's god that work is working on her and preparing her and then he will finally deliver it to a man and say continue so any woman that tells you that you are not working don't worry i'll take care of you is a liar because they themselves have a need to be worked on so they gravitate towards workers that is why a man can tell a woman don't work i will go and work and come back home and we will be fine and that family can live in peace for 30 years when the man is working and the woman is idle at home but if it is the other way around that marriage cannot be at peace for the next one year a woman can work for you to eat for six months going to one year there will be war at home there are things that will begin to happen and things that will go through her mind that will let her believe that the equation is not balancing there is something wrong i'm not to work to take care of the worker the worker must be working to take care of me that is why the bible calls it the wife he said that the husband must know treat the wife as his own body and then he uses two words nourish and cherish go and search the amplified version you will know the work in those two words to nourish and to cherish it has to do with a whole work put together i'm telling young men be zealous don't be idle be on the go do you know when God cursed women in Genesis chapter 3 he told them your desire shall be upon the man your desire shall be upon the man finally I declare your desire shall be upon the man so it is natural for a woman to have money and still say my husband's money is sweet <laughs> It's not wrong. Hey, that is why sometimes some women can even work and give the money to the man and say, give to me. They feel satisfied when it is coming from the man because that is how it should be. Today I release young men from the bondage of idleness. Shout it I release young men from the bondage of idleness Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. most young men are going to be set up Amen. for the sake of women Amen. Mm. Amen. most young men Jesus. most men Jesus. one of the greatest punishment of hell is to render a man jobless after marriage it is it is one of hell's deep punishment to render a man job because he knows if he finish that one he will go and sleep he knows there will be fire in that marriage it doesn't matter the millions the woman is bringing there will be fire in that marriage so when the devil wants to cause confusion he just let the man lose his job and lose his source of finance and he will go and sleep no matter what the equation no go balance but if a woman loses her job and the man is still intact 
everything can be fine. Everything can be fine. That's why today I pray for young men Jesus. and young women. Jesus. At least the young men. Jesus. For the sake of your wives. Jesus. For the sake of your wives. Jesus. Your hands will prosper. Amen. 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 Every man must be chasing the will of God. Every man must be chasing an assignment. Every man must be chasing a work. Don't chase women because heaven will not reward you chasing women with women. Heaven will not reward those who are chasing money with women. Heaven will reward those who are chasing assignments with the right women. You've got to understand it. It is the spirit that will gather them. It is the spirit. So every woman must be with God until God takes her to the man. And every man must keep working until God brings the woman. It's two different things. To the woman, God must take you there. To the man, God must bring. So the woman's job is to be in sync with God. The man's job is to be in sync with his God's assignment for his life. Oh, Jesus. So what God has determined for you, do it. In doing it, God will reward you. But for the woman, God expects you to be with him. So be with the Lord. Be with the Lord. No man, I repeat and I we pray. No man must be idle. Don't wake up in the morning till evening without making an impact. Even if you will not be paid, go and do it. Even if you will not get money, go and do it. Even if it won't bring you honor, do it. Yes. Never stay home. You are disqualifying yourself in heaven mm. as one who deserves a wife. Mm. Mm. Put down that TV game. Get out from social media. Stop watching that leak until your hands has found something doing otherwise you don't deserve a good wife and it is a good wife that will produce good children that means you don't deserve a good family if your hands is not up to something there is no place for laziness for a man no 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 when god was cursing the serpent we saw it when god was cursing the woman we saw it but the work the man does is so important that god didn't curse the man he cares the work of the man a man must be working the bible says and the lord cares the earth for the sake of man that means as far as a man is concerned, what you do is more important than you. When God wants to touch a man at a sensitive part, he doesn't touch him. He touches what he does. Because what a man does is more important than who he is. That is why a man has more feelings for what he does than every other thing. Come back, Vivi. Last time I, I taught something that if a woman wants to get a man's attention, he should get involved in what the man does. 
that that video you can go and search for it you want a man's you want a man's attention get involved with what he does because the soul of a man is in what he does so god had to curse the crown for man's sake and he left man and he knew man would be more frustrated if he had cursed man and work is going on well man will be fine <laughs> but god knew no matter what happens to a man if his work is fine the man is okay but if you touch the work of a man you have touched the most sensitive part of the man and that is what every young man must understand don't be comforted and consoled if somebody tells you don't work don't let any woman deceive you that my work is okay i'll take care of you that that marriage will not go beyond one year there'll be dangerous troubles at home every man must be looking for something to do even if it is polishing somebody's shoe polish it until you are rewarded do it well the bible says that whatever you do he continues to say whatever you do do it well a man a man is a man by what he does when you lose what you do you are becoming lesser of a man let me be open let me be open that is why a man must do everything to guard what he does a man must have both physical and spiritual intelligence on what he does so physically what do i do to protect what i have in my hands and spiritually what do i do to protect what i have in my hands a man must understand the power of faithfulness in what you do a man must understand the power of excellence in what you do a man must understand the power of sacrifice in what you do the man must understand the power of of renovative mindset in what you do the man must have it when it comes to spiritually you must know the kind of prayers you must pray to sustain what you do you must know the kind of givings a man that has spiritual intelligence must find out some people are saying tight is good some are saying tight is not good let me find out for myself because of what i have in my hands i can't gamble a man must be able to understand what a prophet seed is what a kingdom seed is what giving to poor means what what does god say about financial prosperity a man must be able to find out that spiritual intelligence to protect what he has so whatever i need to do spiritually and physically to protect what i have i've got to do it i've got to do it then the man searches for knowledge and begins to do them this is where way to go people of god every man is destined for the earth to produce for you so don't fold your hands the earth is not under command to produce for women it is under command to produce for men and men are under command to produce for women yes so it is the earth to the man the man to the woman so men that are becoming so pleasurable from one wild party to another one social gathering to another one you don't study you don't read books you don't understand the systems that are running in the world you don't get investment plans you don't know anything about life you are just going about and you are still forming hard boy and you don't even pray you're already in trouble you're already in trouble I'm talking to the next generation who team me will read you everywhere. May catch up. Hey, may may anniversary to me. My memoir. My memoir. No woman will smile to a lazy man. 
he may smile to you before wedding smile to you some few months after wedding but over time she will no more smile when she realized that there is no money at home and you are not doing anything to push when she realized that children's school fees are not paid and you are not going about to get something done people of god you may be qualified for a 5000 cd job but before that 5000 cd job comes if you get a 1000 cd job do it whilst you wait for the 5000 and when the 5000 cd job comes resign and go for that one no man must be idle don't sleep until what you do is working no 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 uh, i will never close my eyes and go off until i've picked the phone to test every necessary person to find out is this thing okay is that thing okay i will remind everything everybody on what to do i'll remind everything to make sure that what i do is working before i will catch my rest and the moment i wake up and i seek the face of god the next thing is to start either preparing sermons praying engaging leaders doing that i have to do until before you go to bed make sure that what you do is intact if you wake up make sure that what you do is is intact don't leave your work ajar any any man that jokes with this work is joking with his family or joking with your family whatever you do even if he gives you 100 cities do it with all your heart because heaven will respond heaven will respond today i wish i had all the time i wish i had all the time i'm telling you i'm telling you and you have never known frustration until a woman begin to tag you as lazy women are wired to deal with lazy men i'm telling you eh? women god gives they are wired to deal with lazy men one word the woman will tell you you will not iron your shirt <laughs> you wait and go out one word they are wired to keep men on their toes yes that's how women are they are wired to keep men on their toes so you see she may want to marry you now 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 but if you mess up she's wired to keep you working because she knows that if you don't become a worker she will crash because she's a work in progress <laughs> somebody was working on her then she was delivered to you so if you decide not to be a worker it means you are about to destroy her destiny she will not allow young man I'm saying this lastly to you. Don't spend your money on a side chick. Take care of your wife. Young man, do you know what the Bible says? Of a man who refuses to take care of his wife. The Bible says he is worse than an infidel. He is worse than an unbeliever. If God gives you a wife and you refuse to take care of her, you are a sinner before the Lord. Last time they asked me a question. A very interesting question. About 
um, crisis in marriage when the woman has to take care of the man how do they handle the destability then I told them that there is a curse under the sun and this curse is when for every family there is a blessing there is a blessing for every family and that blessing hear me rest on the head of the family and the man is the head the blessing rests on the head of the man and god is expecting the man to now translate the blessing into physical stuff and present it to the woman and the woman processes it to the children it must flow from the man to the wife to the children but when that blessing lingers on a man who is not responsible over the wife the blessing shifts from the man and goes to the wife then everything the wife begins to do begins to prosper then the man now begins to be at the mercy of the wife but because women were not wired to take care of men they also begin to complain then the moment complaints begins then the blessing shift again to the man and sometimes if the man and the woman none of them know how to hold the blessing god wait until a child is old and shifts the blessing to the child and the child now comes to take care of them the carrier of the blessing shouldn't complain taking care of the rest if you are a man and you are always complaining about what you give to your wife you are about to lose the blessing very soon no matter the, the little your wife does will bring him more money than you never complain and if wives were deep but their nature does not permit them if not anytime a man messes up and the blessing of the family shifts and comes you don't complain you take care of to wait for uh, you take care of him with smiles and the blessing will remain of you forever So sometimes I tell women that come to me and complain, my, wife, my husband is lazy, my husband is not working, my husband is not working. I'm the one taking care of I tell them the complaint will let the blessing shift. Mm. And between a giver and a receiver, I choose to be a giver. Mm. Right, come on. Right. And between a giver mm. and a receiver, I choose to be the giver. Mm. Because the receiver is always at the mercy of the giver. So one time I told the lady, keep quiet and enjoy the blessing. If you continue like this, your man will rise again. And I told her, do you want to have this? How things are going well for you? He said, yes. I said, he said but I just want my husband to also help me. I said, I, what you are getting, is it enough for the family? He said, it's more than enough. Said, Shh. It is his blessing we're enjoying. It is his blessing. At least the one that is from your table can slap you. So enjoy the blessing. But this is the warning. Don't take his headship. Don't, don't take his position. Take the blessing on the position. <laughs> I told her, don't take the position. No. If you take the position and assume head of the family, God will turn against you. So let him continue with the position, but take the blessing on the position. 
Or my name Dio or saying I mean shrow. Papa I mean shrow. Mean complaining beam. Mehano mean complaining beam because on who was he can name Joe Mammy. On who was can I Joe Mammy to say that here the enemy mammy mean yes can made mean complaining beam. Mr. Correno Correno Correno. So what thou be could not mean any more cause real radin. Yame be sad in Shraman. But God will never give you the blessing of headship when you don't assume the responsibility of taking care of the family. No. It takes men that go before God and say, Lord, my wife, my wife, I've got to take care of my wife, but I don't have a job. Lord, the moment you bring in my wife, the prayer will be answered. <laughs> my mama, poor. The moment you bring in, you want to make it in life because of your wife. You want to make it in life because of your children. The moment you bring it in that prayer, I tell you, your prayer will be answered. Yeah. Yeah. Mama Yeah. 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 But young man, so I can't hear CD. Necessary only we hear it, dear. Fama hear it, God, dear. We hear Sadiana a radi, Obama a thousand. The best way to be blessed as a young man is to take care of your wife. The man who is it. The best place, the best thing to do to be blessed is to take care of your wife. But there, but there, cause so far her side chips. So far, I've been saying so far. Let it say we hear. Let my common know here. There are some men. The only time they check their money is when they are dealing with their wives. Oh, they send a tour, meko. Oh, they send a tour on tours. Oh, they send a tour away. Oh, they send a tour away. And so who chase the car? I've been saying on your own. The Lord show you mercy. Amen. Help somebody. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this is my gift for you, you. for Thank our you. marriage anniversary. So, a young woman, if God helps you, don't take the man's position as head, but enjoy the blessing by helping him, taking care of him. Yeah, but align him. If he refuses to align, Continue to take care of him. You will carry the blessing. And he will carry the headship. But what is position without blessing? It is a promotion where you are going to salary. What is the promotion? You are to salary. A promotion without salary. That is to be a head of a home without the blessing of the home. But the blessing of the home goes for as for as a result of a functionality, your responsibility. That's why I said, if it's left with ten CD at home, give it to your wife, and you step out with an empty pocket. I tell you, come back with thousand CDs. Try it and see. Try it and see. Make the woman first, and God will make sure that your supply does not end. I bless your marriage. Amen. It takes a man to do what God has determined for him to be called a man of God. It takes a woman to be given by God to be called a woman of God. Women are prepared for men. Men are prepared for work. So if a woman finishes her preparation for a man, she is a woman of God, given to the man. If the man finishes preparation to start doing the will of God, she is he is a man of God, given to a work. 
<laughs> so you must be a man of God for doing what God has asked you to do. So it can be that you are a teacher, but you are a man of God. But you can be preaching and not be a man of God. Because you have not pre been prepared for what God destined for you. Probably what God destined for you was not puppet. You just found it by chance. The day you start doing what God destined for you, that is where you are. You can be called a man of God. There are some of you, you are not permitted to be called a man of God for preaching. You are only permitted to be called a man of God for interceding. Not until you start to intercede to God, you are not of him. Because you are doing something different from what he has destined for you. And that is the a woman is not a woman of God for what she does. She's a woman of God for what she is made to be. For a man. So if the woman makes up her mind that I will go through the blessings and the educational system of the Holy Spirit, the school of the Spirit, to be prepared for a man, such a woman when she comes out, she's a woman of God, prepared for a man. But you see, the man too can only be a man of God when he is prepared for a work. So I pray that God will raise women of God and men. Of God. Amen. Uh, I might talk to somebody here. Yes, 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 yes. I pray that God Jesus. will raise Jesus. women of God Jesus. and men of God. Amen. <laughs> Obisi, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. I'm sure. The greatest women of God, we don't know them. There are women God prepared them for certain men. And those women changed the men. And gave birth to children and raised the children. And the children saved their generations. Like the mother of John Wesley. <laughs> she was a woman of God without a puppet. So for a woman to be a woman of God is not to be singing or prophesying. No. It's to be prepared to raise a generation. It's to be prepared. And there be. Mame Pong. 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 Pong. Yeah. Friday night. Yeah. Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. Uh, Friday Saturday night. morning. Saturday morning. Okay. Go away. Flow. Flow, sir. Flow, sir. The jackpot. Open your eyes. I said, I worry, sir, my boy, no. Too many women of God that were not recognized on earth. They picked men and made a man her ministry and changed the man and picked children and raised the children and the children became a generational force. A woman of God. There are men of God who became presidents of nations and changed the nation because it was his destiny and he fulfilled it. Such a man was stand with Billy Graham on the same day in judgment seat. He never stood on puppet, but he did God's work in a government position, in a government seat. 
there's somebody who did the work of God teaching primary three students. And one day, me nini nina crown be happy because I'm crying far in some way now who know Jesus and some never find him. Me nini nina be happy. Don't be deceived. The greatest puppets are not in church buildings. The greatest men of God are not in castles. No. No. Some of them are common drivers. But any time he moves the car, he will pray with you and say, Jesus loves you. That is what he has been testing to do. And he's doing it faithfully. So to God, he's a man of God. <laughs> he's a man of God. Man of God, in yet your culture microphone is in common. And yet, the war yet in your message. And you mean you might do so. And you preaching. You mean you might do so. And you preaching. Sure. Who be a doctor or a man of God? Who be a lawyer or a man of God? Because he's doing what God destined him to do. He's a man of God. Who be so your bar? He has allowed herself to be prepared. Her children can mess up because she's a woman of God. She's a woman of God. She won't go to church and leave her children home. She's a woman of God. Yeah, <laughs> 